the Mitchell Hyundai SA23E Star Fury, also sometimes called the Star Fury Aurora, was the standard non-atmospheric fighter craft employed by Earth Force from the 2240s onward. The Star Fury came to be widely recognised as one of the finest fighters employed by the younger races, being outmatched only by the impressive Minbari Nial class. The fighter's speed and manoeuvrability made it an exceptional dogfighter and short-range reconnaissance craft. The Star Fury Aurora was 9.92 metres long and 17.87 metres across. The design of the Star Fury places the thruster nacelles on the tips of four long pylons. This distance from the ship's centre of mass provides the engines with tremendous leverage over the ship as a whole, allowing it to flip end-to-end -end in less than one second and quickly arrest its momentum in flight. However, this design omits wings and other aeronautical features, rendering the ship incapable of atmospheric flight. Star Furies are frequently launched from housings known as Cobra Bays. These bays use the centrifugal force of a ship or station's artificial gravity ring to drop the Star Furies from their launch cradles, slinging them outward from the bay at high speed without the need for magnetic catapults. This allows a wing of Star Furies to be quickly deployed to respond to a developing situation. The Star Fury carries a weapons array of six pulse discharge cannons mounted on the ship's central frame and a loadout of six aspect-seeking missiles held under the fighter's upper engine pylons. This powerful arsenal was far greater than that of similar sized fighters, such as the Centauri Sentry, and allowed the Star Fury to inflict incapacitating damage on the subsystems of warships and quickly destroy almost all known fighters. Star Fury pilots wear full pressurised environmental suits in flight as a safeguard against hull breaches and sit in a self contained cockpit at the centre of the craft. This placement helps to protect the pilot from the stress and disorientation of high G turns. In the event of an emergency, the entire cockpit module can be ejected during combat, allowing the pilot to abandon his craft and be recovered by search and rescue. The Star Fury Aurora was eventually succeeded by the SA-23J Star Fury Thunderbolt, but due to the outbreak of the Earth Alliance Civil War, Star Fury Auroras were often seen engaging their new counterparts on behalf of the Earth Alliance resistance. Despite the advanced weapons and engines of the Thunderbolt, the Star Fury Aurora still managed to hold its own during the conflict, posing a serious threat to the Loyalist Thunderbolt squadrons in the hands of skilled resistance pilots. The Star Fury Aurora was an exceptionally successful fighter and a hallmark of Earth Force, remaining in service more than 35 years after its introduction, even following the development of the Thunderbolt. From a real world standpoint, the Star Fury is one of the most realistic designs for a spacecraft of this size in popular science fiction. So much so, that in December 1995, J. Michael Straczynski, creator of Babylon 5, reported that NASA had taken an interest in replicating the design for use as the spacefaring equivalent of a forklift or heavy loader. Thank you for watching Space Doc. Please remember to like, subscribe and share for more science fiction spacecraft summaries. And if there's a particular spacecraft you'd like to see looked at, let me know in the comments below and I'll get right on it.